The cell is one of the places which still challenges me. Oh my god, that's so creepy. It was actually used as a morgue. That music box went off. The face of which has been seen and has been matched with a picture in the homestead. It crawls like on the floor and that freaks me out. Well, I know Diablo means devil. Is there someone in there? Entity in here who crawls along the ground towards people. I've just left Jared on his own. Really I'm uh oh. Uh oh. Hi, Crip Givers. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. We are back at the Glenbar Homestead in South Australia, a very, very haunted house. And just behind me is the infamous cellar which is one of the most active and scary locations here. And we're gonna be descending into it to investigate tonight. I also just wanna do a quick shout out because I'm making this video in collaboration with my friends over at Adelaide's Haunted Horizons. They have a YouTube channel of their own. I'm linking them below. Please go check them out. Subscribe if you like their content. They do a lot of paranormal investigations in haunted locations from around the world. But get ready because we're going down and things are gonna get really, really creepy. <laughs> Glenbar is an old house in South Australia dating back to the early 1840s. It was a place some of the first Scottish pioneers to the area called home and today is claimed to be incredibly haunted. Already, we have investigated the actual house and captured some interesting evidence which you will find in my previous video. Now, we venture into the depths of the building's underground cellar. A place that scares many people and where a very disturbing entity has been sighted. I really want to talk about the cellar. Yeah. Now, I've heard not a lot of stories, but I know that that is one of the spookier places here. Can you tell me a little bit about down there? Yeah, um, absolutely. The, the cellar is one of the places which still challenges me. Like, okay. I've been doing this across. Um, with Haunted Horizons, we get to do a lot of different venues. So we do the jails, the asylums, and a lot of private places. So we spend a lot of time doing this sort of work. The cellar's one we thought, when we came to Glen Bar, it's sort of like, you know, it's a family homestead. And all of a sudden we started going into the cellar. And the first thing we learned was Vicky, who's here 24 seven, won't go into the cellar. And I actually watched her walk to the top of the stairs, wouldn't go down, and I asked yeah. her why. And then she said, I get creeped out. So we found out a couple of nuggets of information about the cellar. Number one, in the early days, it was actually used as a morgue. Ah. Uh, huh? So yeah. a bit of a spoiler there, but it was. Yeah. And sometimes you need to know, because you can't always drag people into these areas, because some people do freak out. Yeah. And it's really uncomfortable. So you need to be up front with some people. Um, and we do have something down there which is a lot darker than what we thought and whatever we got down there interacts quite negatively with people going down. Ah. Of course, not all the time, but you know, yeah. when it happens, it's pretty significant. Yeah, without giving away too much on it, we do have something that's been seen to be um, crawling in the back, along the back wall. I don't and know if I like that. <laughs> it's one of the most intense stories that we, that I tell on all, across all of our sites. Yeah. And I haven't yet seen it, but the number of times people have come up with that notion of something being there and have described the same thing, the face of which has been seen and has been matched with a picture in the homestead. To me, it's really weird. Yeah. And that's what, I, that's what you deal with. You deal with a lot of coincidence, but yeah. when you sort of have a look at um, what people are experiencing, it's so cool. And it's hard to say what it is as well. Good. And I, when they have similar shared experiences, maybe across different tours, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's super weird. I think um, because of the number of tours, we've been doing it for a couple of years, nearly three now here, and yeah. it's still consistent. We're still getting people coming up with the same thing. Yeah. Um, and they don't have any prior knowledge of what other groups have encountered. And that's what makes it interesting. That's amazing. So it, it feels different down there. Yeah. So when you get down there, I'll be interested in seeing what you think. Yeah, for it's sure. It's dark. It's, it was also used as a area where the boys used to go and play in the early days. Oh, okay. So the men. Yeah. No women allowed. Ah, oh, it's like so a man cave down there. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely an olden time man cave. So good luck. Oh, weird. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. Well, that makes me super excited to investigate tonight and check out more of these areas and share it with everyone watching. Yeah. 
If anyone watching is in South Australia and really wants to visit Glenbar or possibly do an investigation sort of ghost tour experience, yep. how can they go about doing that? Um, well, the easiest way is go onto our website, adelaidehauntedhorizons.com.au, um, and it goes through the different sites that we operate from. And I'm going to link that website below as well, guys, so if you are in the area you want to check it out, come hang out with Craig, <laughs> definitely do so. But yeah, thank you so much. That's right, you're very welcome. That's the yeah. first part of the evening, right? Yeah. It's your best of yet to come. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, guys, so we're just about to go down to the cellar. This place kind of creeps me out, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's a whole bunch of equipment already set up down there because Adelaide's Haunted Horizons does a lot of live streams on their Facebook page, which you guys should check out, go follow them. But there's a whole ton of equipment down there, so I'm gonna go down and check it out and we'll just see what's set up and start reaching out and see if we can get any activity down here. Can I already see the REM pod on down there? Yes. I think there's a music box by the entrance that so might go off when you there go There it is. There. You guys will probably hear it. That's the music box. Whoa, there's a lot of paranormal equipment set up in here. <laughs> there's so much stuff. Like, these guys are great. I love them. Now we've got REM pods, we've got K2s, we've got an Ovilus. Uh, I think there's a spirit box down here, uh, the paranormal music boxes, there's a whole array of different things down here and I can go into more detail of how they work and what they do maybe as they trigger, hopefully they trigger and we get some activity. What I do want to talk to you guys about though. That music box went off. I think and that music went box went off. Yeah, they did. To you guys about though. To you guys about though okay so there's a paranormal music box on that side of the cellar and one on this side and they both just went off i reckon that one just went off a little bit again creepy now apparently this place is feared even by um like the owners the people who spend a lot of time here and i've been told that they don't really like to come downstairs at all but if they do come downstairs they don't really like to pass this sort of threshold like this area back here is the creepiest weirdest area now when we interviewed Craig who has investigated this place a lot spent a lot of time here he told me <laughs> about this thing called the crawler and that kind of okay that's going up again that's really cool that's like showing that maybe there's already things going off here going on here the crawler has been seen mostly down this back side so particularly like this kind of corner and it's something that is man-like so kind of like a man but it crawls like on the floor and that freaks me out that seems like not natural and you know it's been described as a the face looking like an older man but what is an old man doing crawling on the floor like that? It's just, it's weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that maybe we should go lights out and we'll reach out and we'll see if we can get anything. All right guys, so we're starting off our investigation. Oh my God, that's so creepy. We've gone completely lights out, so I can't really see anything. And we're gonna try and look for this crawler. <laughs> So I've just pulled out my thermal imaging camera and I'm just starting to record sort of in the back corners of here. I mean, I can't really see anything that looks abnormal. Maybe there's a bit of a cold spot there. Oh yeah, I see that. Can you see So it? that corner there where you're pointing at and that's where the crawl is normally seen, right? Well, he's normally seen on this side more, I think. I think everything's just cold down here. Everything is... I can vouch it's freezing. <gasps> okay. That's weird. That's I'm the music box. At it. <gasps> okay. <gasps> okay. So the paranormal music box has an infrared beam that comes out the front of it. It is pointed towards the back corner right now. So if anything moves in front of and breaks that beam, it will play music. Like it's doing. Such as it's doing. My name is Amy and I'm visiting here 
in the cellar with my husband Jared. I don't know if we're welcome here, if we're supposed to be down here. Especially me. I've heard that this was a bit of a man cave, a place where the lads, where the boys would hang out. Am I right in saying that? Can you give me a sign? Okay, so I'm going to assume that I'm welcome. I'm just going to show you all Jared. His body looks very cold. You can just see his head and hands. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. I'm going to keep it pointed towards the back though. Okay, so I'm pointing the thermal camera at um, the back corner where that music box is pointed. It's not really registering anything of concern or interest, whichever way you like to look at it. Can you communicate with us? That was behind you. Are you able to come towards any of these green lights in here? Maybe the red light in the other room? Can you play some more music for me? What did? Just this whole screen of the thermal camera is red, <laughs> but it's like 10 degrees Celsius, which is cold. All right, guys, I've been a little bit cheeky. I've just left Jared on his own downstairs in the cellar. He's obviously doing Jared cam, but I think it's just scary down there. <laughs> also, look how cold it is. <sighs> That's my breath. All right, I'm going to leave him alone for a little bit and go down afterwards and just see what happens. So Amy, um, this camera that I'm holding now is about to run out of room because we've been filming with it all night. So Amy's gone to get the other camera and she thought it'd be a great idea to leave me alone here. Camera and she thought it'd be a great idea to leave me alone. Camera and she thought it'd be a great idea to leave me alone. Camera and she thought it'd be a great idea to leave me alone for a jarred cam. So I'm in the basement. Uh, of the Glen Bar property on my own. It's pitch black. I can just see like three or four LED lights from the paranormal equipment that's running. Somebody there. The music box just went off. It's been going off a fair bit on its own tonight. Hey, the crawler. What do you do? Is anybody here with me? <laughs> Music box just went off on its own. Can you make the REM pod light up? Okay, although the music box is going up on its own, it still does not compare to the shit that went down in the, um, the church in the last episode that we just filmed. Alright guys, 
so we're back in the cellar. We ran out of space on my night vision camera, so that's why I left Jared down here for a while by himself um, to do Jared cam and I went to get this other camera. Did anything happen? So the two music boxes, one we've got one down there and we've got one back here somewhere. Um, I just heard that one go again. Yeah, they <laughs> so keep going weird. off, but they only go off like ding. Like they don't play one. Like that one just went like off again. That. So yeah, so that went off a few times. Um, Anything else? Anything crawling around the floor towards you? <laughs> no, I didn't see any crawlies. Um, I would love that so much. Yeah, it's, it's definitely crawled. Like people have even had. So there's all tables and stuff around here. People have even had things seen under the tables, like the crawler thing crawling around or being like grabbed. <laughs> Yeah. I love that. I really would love that yeah. down to me. It's definitely yeah. cold down here and if you're in here in the dark on your own it's definitely a bit unsettling. Especially when those things keep going off. Yeah, for sure. I tried asking some questions, I know I'm not good at that, but I didn't really get anything. No, yeah, well, you're good. Well, I love the paranormal music boxes, I think they're so good. If there is anybody here. I would love for you to try to talk to us in some way. Can you give us a noise just so that I know that you're here? So Jared and I were down here a little bit earlier investigating with Haunted Horizons on like a paranormal investigation live stream and we got some really weird activity. The music boxes were going off quite a bit but also the K2s um, started flashing randomly so that was, I think that was interesting because more than one thing was going off. Mm. Yeah this K2 over here was going off. I'm just going to stop recording for a second, take this off. I just moved this, so it said cover known. Okay. Uh, it just also said van and find. It does pick up on environmental factors though, so the fact that I moved it more into the middle of the room, my body heat could have triggered it to say some stuff. Um, but it also doesn't seem relevant. Hang on. So this is the K2 meter. That was going off earlier. That doesn't seem to be going off at all now. It's not going off now. It was flashing a lot on the live stream. That was going off. The music boxes were going off, probably as much as, as they are now. The REM pod also went off a bit too, didn't it? So we've just moved the REM pod down this end. Um, we've got one that's off because it ran out of batteries, but this one's on. So if I put my hand near it, it goes off. So it senses like proximity. Now, the paranormal music box is also pointed into this corner and that's where this creepy crawler <laughs> has been seen a lot. And I mean, that music box keeps going off, which is interesting because it is that corner, though the one down that other end of the cellar, <laughs> thanks for demonstrating, <laughs> is also going off. Can you light up that little ball in the middle of the room for me, please? Can you kick it? Maybe you can play me a tune again. I would love that. How do you feel down there, Jared? Cold. Just cold? Yeah, really cold. I don't really feel much up here. Can you come towards this cold, sad boy? I didn't say I was sad. Warm him up. You're sad because you're cold. Offer the um the whiskey to them. Or the scotch, whatever it is. You want some? You want some of that? It's a trigger object. So 
What is the spirit down here? They said to drink. Well, this was like the hangout for all the, oh, the yeah. lads, all the guys. And yeah, if anyone's thirsty, you want to drink, come towards this green light. We'll leave this booze here for you. <gasps> the static thing's gone off. Oh, was it? Yeah, this thing. Well, I missed that. Do you know what triggers that. this? What? Does electronics trigger it? Is that what? It's triggers? static um, electricity. Well, it just went off. I, mi I think I missed it. So static, so if I like rub this like shiny jacket and then put my fingers in. We'll try it. Is that not like <laughs> Apparently not. What, the rem plug? Wait, what did it say? What did it say? I don't know. Don't touch it. Hunting. Oh Fine. no. Are you hunting us? If you're hunting us, you're not doing a very good job. Because you're not really doing anything to us. This chair looks pretty really creepy. Oh my gosh. Before, Actually, when we were doing the live no, stream, no, hang on. Diablo. Various Diablo paint. Well, I know Diablo means devil. Fuck. Spoon. <laughs> what does that mean? What were you saying about this chair? Okay, so this chair, before I looked at it, hang on, before you sit on it, and I couldn't tell. It looked like there was an imprint of a buttock or something. I think it's because it's just like worn in. Yeah. I'll be, I'll sit Don't lightly. fall through the chair. No, I won't, I won't. We'll I'll get sit. in trouble if your ass breaks it. So what is weird is you were talking about God and the devil in the chapel in the last episode. Yeah. I mean, Diablo, that's um, Spanish, right? Spanish for devil. And when you, when you were talking about that, that's when you're... Um... I'll be honest, though. It doesn't make sense for a Spanish word yeah, no, down it here. Oh, this music box keeps going off. Is there someone in there? Can you make a noise for me? Loud noise, please. If, if you really are hunting us. Are you making noise back here? I'm breathing. <laughs> I heard like little taps. So like my jacket like rubbing. Are you in the corner? Can you come out of the corner? Mind. <laughs> that voice. Oh my gosh, it's creepy. Religion. Religion. So Religion, Diablo. Diablo. Religion. Can I do a ghost tube and see if that, how that compares with the... Yeah, that might be interesting. It, um, if they say similar words. It doesn't have as many words, I don't it doesn't. think, as the Ophelos. So guys, I'm hitting... Oh, I feel like Amy. I'm hitting record on a ghost tube session. Diablo. <laughs> what was that? Sounded like a sneeze. That sounded like a chair moving and its legs. What the heck was that? That was a music box. Yeah. Oh, was it? I'm just gonna get down and. I'm going to get on the same level as the crawler. Oh my god. The floor's really cold, FYI. I'm... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is such a weird angle, but I'm on the floor. <laughs> Seriously, like, the light keeps going off. And if I turn it on and there's a friggin' crawler, like, coming at me, I'm going to freak it. It's freezing cold as well. I do this for the Crypt Keepers. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look around here. Let's see what we see. My name is Amy. I can hear the music box that keeps going off in the corner. 
Apparently that's the corner where someone likes to hang out. And I want to know why you crawl on the floor. Can, can, can you make it play two tones now if you are actually there? Wow. Oh, that's a long one. Can you play it longer for me? Are you running ghost too? Yeah. Is anything happening? Nothing. Nothing? Oh my god, I'm super dirty and dusty now. <laughs> this was not a good idea. So we just got sun and preacher free on the ovulus. We've had religion, Diablo. It's interesting, isn't it? Mm. I'm hitting stop on goes to now because I'm not getting anything. Not getting anything. Well, wow, I've just stirred up so much dust on my body from doing that. So did you see anything? I didn't see anything. The only thing I can tell you is I felt really cold, but that is because I was laying on a concrete floor and it is like zero degrees. <laughs> um, I did feel creeped out down there, but that's only because I know there's a entity in here who crawls along the ground towards people. I didn't see anything. I think that it's weird that the music box keeps going off and it's facing that corner where it's been seen a lot. Can't say I can see it though. I wish I could. I really, really wish I could. Heard. Surprise, heard. This thing just keeps pumping out the weirdest words. Surprise, I just feel like was weird. Cause it's like, surprise, we're here. <laughs> I don't know, just how the obelisk says stuff is creepy. But you know, I think that we're gonna stay down here for a bit longer we'll keep doing some investigations and hopefully we pick some stuff up i don't know that we will but i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope you've enjoyed this whole grace series scratch grace scratch grace another kind of like religious -y word is that religious and scratch if you want to scratch me friggin do it <laughs> please i don't actually know if people get scratched down here i don't know if that's a thing but so the great dragon was cast out, the serpent of old, called the devil and Satan. I keep getting the image of someone hanging from one of the rafters. There's like noise right to my left. You sure it just wasn't the way the lights no, look when they're going off? No, 100% it was moving. It was moving. Get a creepy vibe in here. People have been touched in here, like having their hair played with. <gasps> That's definitely not normal. Oh shit. What was that? Okay, so if you guys did enjoy this video, this place is just amazing, Glenba. I love it. I want to come back already. But if you did enjoy them, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I also would love if you guys subscribed or at least checked out my friend's YouTube channel, Adelaide's Haunted Horizons. I am linking them below. You guys can do more reading about this place at my website, amyscrypt.com. You can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm also posting heaps of bonus content at the moment on my YouTube members and my Patreon, which I'm going to link below for you if you want to check out. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.